pouch of Douglas obliteration can be predicted using dynamic transvaginal ultrasound sliding sign technique. So far, studies have focused on populations with high prevalence of endometriosis. Pouch of Douglas obliteration may exist in individuals with asymptomatic endometriosis or other conditions. The aim of this study was to determine the prevalence of a negative sliding sign in patients undergoing transvaginal ultrasound for any gynecological indication. Overall, data from 909 recruited women were analyzed. The prevalence of a negative sliding sign in the entire cohort was 5.2%. A negative sliding sign was observed in 3.4% of women with a low risk for endometriosis and in 10.3% of women with a high risk for endometriosis. The prevalence of a negative sliding sign suggesting pouch of Douglas obliteration is 5.2% of women seeking transvaginal ultrasound for a gynecological indication. The prevalence of negative sliding sign in low-risk women is not negligible. These women are most likely to have asymptomatic endometriosis or another etiology of pouch of Douglas obliteration. The prevalence of a negative sliding sign is approximately three times higher in women with signs and or symptoms of endometriosis.